So how did you make out with the challenge? I'm sure you didn't find it terribly difficult. I have it half done, and I'm going to go through the second half in this lecture because I want to show you a couple of shortcuts. Things that you may have stumbled across already, but things that I normally don't introduce to people until they've been writing React components and so forth by hand for a little while. So the first thing I did in my components folder, I created an admin.js. And it's pretty straightforward. It's virtually identical to movies.js, just the name of the class and the content of the h2 tag changed. Then back in my app.js, I imported that component, and then I simply just deleted the function named admin down here. Now I want to do the same thing with the home function. We'll get rid of that in a moment. So I've already created an empty home.js in my components folder, and it has nothing in it. And here's the shortcut I was talking about a little while ago. Do you recall that extension we installed for Visual Studio Code? Oh, lo these many lectures ago. Well, one of the reasons I installed it is because I can do things like this. I, M, and then notice you have some autocompletes here. And the very first one is IMRC, import React component. I can just type IMRC and hit return. And it types that line for me, which is pretty straightforward. I'm going to put a semicolon after it. So let's export our default class, and we're going to call this one home, and it extends component. And we have to have a render function, render, and it just returns some JSX. So I'll give it an H2 with a title, and I'll just call it, this is the home page. And we'll replace this with more meaningful content a bit later on. So I save this, go back to app.js, import home. So import home from dot slash components home and give it its trailing semicolon. And then of course I have to delete this function. And if everything worked according to plan, once I save this and go back to my web browser, when I click on, it already did it for me. This is the home page. So homes works, movies works, and manage catalog works. Great. So that's pretty straightforward and nothing too difficult in that at all. What we'll do next is when I click on the movies link, I want to display a list of movies here because eventually we're going to be getting a list of movies from our go back end as a JSON file, processing that and displaying the list of movies in our database on this screen. So we'll get started on that in the next lecture.